Hey, how's it going everyone? I just wanted to share with you something I recently purchased because of something I didn't like about this car. And if you've been paying attention to the channel, you should already have an idea maybe of what I don't like, but you know, let's just get into it. Let's find out. So I recently bought a whole new set of aluminum trim. So I found this on eBay for the whole set. All this, including the door grab handles, which I'm not gonna use for $300. And luckily for me, it was pickup, local pickup only, and it was nearby. So yeah, I've been searching a while for this and I bought this because this listing had the one with the two holes in it, which makes my life a lot easier. I could have still found one with one and tried to drill out the other side. But in the pictures, I thought that this one was one of the better quality ones, um, less beat up than the other ones I've seen. But if you take a close look, it's still not perfect. This was a little bit more beat up than I thought. Still not terrible, but not super great. So when I first saw it and picked it up, I was able to talk him down like, would he take 280? And he accepted, which in hindsight, I actually could have went down even lower. Um, but you know, I, I just really wanted the trim. Anyways, like this can, piece is in pretty good condition. You wipe it down. This one's like, okay. Um, let's check this one out. Man, these things are heavy. Uh, I think it's mostly dirty. Uh, it could be wiped off. I'm not so sure. But yeah, overall I'm pretty happy with this. So, you know, I'm gonna try for the first time to put these in the car. Well, especially, I know how to do this one. As there will be a video coming out for this. This one. I'll try to do this one today. Now this is a pain in the butt, so I might do this another day. So, you know, let's, yeah, let's get into it. So right now I started with cleaning as much as I can with paper towel and water just to remove the surface dirt. I can always come back later with better products when it's all mounted anyways. And in this video, I'm not gonna go into too much detail on the install because you know I will be making another shorter and concise video for that. So keep an eye out in the near future. I'm just gonna jump through this really quick and link any relevant videos in the description or on the screen. As you can see, the first part I did was the driver's side, which would be the simplest out of all of them. It wasn't super easy, but not super hard either. It probably took me about 10 minutes in total on this. And after finishing this one piece, I was just ecstatic on how much better my dash looked. Way more modern and sleek. What do you guys think? Moving on to the center install. This is when I discovered that a crucial part of my new trim was broken. The far right prong that held in the squeezable tab. I think whoever removed this trim prior didn't know to remove the tab before pulling and snapped the metal off. This is why I was telling you earlier that I probably could have negotiated the price down even further, but I didn't notice at the time. I actually struggled a lot trying to get this off that I actually took a break and fell asleep in the car. It wasn't until a week later that I was able to collect my thoughts and strategies to pull it off. And after I was able to do so, I was just so pumped that the hard part was over. The rest was a breeze. Like I said earlier, I won't be doing the center console today since we all know that's going to be a doozy. Anyways, I think that my dash looks a hundred times better now. What do you guys think? And let me know in the comments if you're okay with me posting a vlog every once in a while. And don't worry, I will still always make those short and concise videos for you all. And once I get that last wood piece out, I'll be selling the set if anyone is interested. It's in perfect condition too. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time.